Let me make this bigger. Okay, now check it out. The code ran it up to this line. And so how does a sub or function work? Well, once it gets to this line, what it does is all of this code has already been compiled. And so it knows what's located on every single line. And at this point, it sees this function, open application, and it also sees this parameter with a value of iexplore.exe and the value of google.com. And then it says, oh, this function open application. I know what that is. That's a subroutine that's over here. Let me go in there and do what that subroutine does. So let me step into, and now look, it automatically went to the subroutine to perform these actions. And now whatever is inside of the subroutine will get performed and then that's it. So let me perform all the stuff. Oh, of course, I don't have this function in here. So let me skip. Oh, of course, let me skip that. Anyway, this one is not going to work. And of course, it's not going to run because I can't spell I explore I I explore dot exe. Why does that look so weird? Okay, great. Let me run it again. Sorry about that. As you guys can see, sometimes coding mistakes happen. I'm just going to step over and boom, there you go. It opened up the browser, google.com. We're there. And did you see how that worked, guys? A lot of people have issues understanding how this transfers into this. And so now I'm going to explain to you guys in detail so that you understand and so that it's easy and so that you're never confused by a function or sub again.